To be completely honest with you, I almost didn't make this video because it's, it's really not my style to just share exact numbers on how much extra money I'm making right now. You know what I mean? Like something about it just seems kind of flashy to me. But knowing that I'm constantly talking about how important it is to increase your income, I just didn't feel right not making a video about this topic of how much money I made on YouTube last year. So as with everything on this channel, I'm going to pull back the curtain and I'm going to take you on a journey. And this time it'll be through the emotional roller coaster that is my YouTube analytics. I just want to let you know that when I got monetized, I only had 1400 subscribers. And even though my audience was very small, even smaller than it is right now, the money that I made on YouTube absolutely blew my mind. That said, the only purpose of this video is to show you what's possible. Let's get into this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself smaller because I'm not giving you the eye contact you deserve because I'm looking at my analytics. So anyways, right now what you're looking at is my YouTube dash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my analytics so you can see everything. All right, so what you're looking at right now is everything from the past 28 days. So as you can see, I got 28,000 and something views in the past 28 days, and you also see the revenue right here. So this is not obviously what I made last year. So I'm gonna show you exactly how much I made in year 2020. So I'm gonna scroll down, and as you can see, 2020. Now, I made a total of $919.25 in the year of 2020. And that's, keep in mind, I did not get monetized until late November, like November 23rd to be exact. So it is pretty insane. And right now I, I hit the wrong thing. This is views, I need to hit revenue right here. Boom, okay, so I got monetized on November 23rd. Before that, it was zero. My, my, my channel was completely flatlined. I was posting pretty consistently, but as you saw, no results, right? So here's the thing. I got monetized late November, and as you can see, it goes up and up and up, and then it just spikes out of nowhere. What happened there was one of my videos completely went viral, and this happened between the end of November and the beginning of December. This timeline takes place from November 23rd all the way to December 31st. I wanna talk about that real quick because typically when people think about money on YouTube, they don't think of it being this much, especially within the literal first month and seven days that I was monetized on YouTube. So why was it this much? So first of all, my YouTube channel is a personal finance channel and that's why it makes so much compared to other channels. Like if it was a channel twice as big in another niche, like say gaming or entertainment, chances are the monetary value of it would be probably less than half of what I'm making on my YouTube channel. It's, it's solely because it's a finance channel. And the reason personal finance channels make more is because of the simple fact that companies that advertise on personal finance channels, they're willing to pay YouTube a lot more. And what you get paid off from YouTube is your views, not your subscribers, nothing else. Purely just your views, that is how you get monetized. Your views and how long they watch it because if there's multiple ads within the video, then yeah, you're gonna make more money. So I wanna go through this real quick. We're gonna go over to the revenue tab so you can you can see it a lot more clearly. All right, so this is how much I made in the total of the year of 2020, right? So this number right here, what you're looking at is the $22.28. That is what YouTube completely gets from the ads. So what CPM means, cause it says CPM right here, that just means cost per mil. And mil is just a Latin word that translates to a thousand. So per thousand views, that's how much YouTube makes off of the ads. But this is, if we're looking at the total, that's how much I made, 11, 25, 71 you see and, and I, another thing i want to talk about is when people hear about how much money you make on youtube you can talk about how much you make per day like it 22 38 63 71 37 when you hear those numbers per day it doesn't sound like a whole lot but if you put it over a course of say seven days that is a lot of money like it's a few hundred dollars per week pretty much and that's specifically where it spikes so just to put it into perspective i'm going to take you on another journey we're going to go month by month in chronological order starting with november so this is where i got monetized this is where i made my first ever dollar on youtube i got super excited at the fact that it was 11 dollars 19 and then it just only went up from there 22 like it literally went double that within a day that's ridiculous 24.98, 25.26, 32, and then it just shoop 
all the way up to 63.57. All right, and then in December, this is where the real magic happened. It hit its ultimate spike, and then it decided to plateau, which is okay. That's typically what happens when a video goes viral. The whole point, the whole reason that I made this much is because a video went viral. We'll talk about that in a second. But right here, we have 65.74, 71.85, 64.96, 37.06, 68.50, 36 and as you see, it plateaued, and it kind of stayed within the 20, 15, 17 range and it even dipped down to 12 sometimes. But as you can see, that's pretty much how it performed. And that is absolutely just ridiculous. And now we're gonna go to the last one and that's January, that's this month, as we continue to plateau because the views really started to settle down after that one video really hit. And it's pretty much in the eight to $9 per day, 12, 10. But there's channels similar to my size who only make $5 a day. So it's really just a blessing to see how much these numbers fluctuate and just really see how much I'm making, you know, cause even though they're fluctuating, that doesn't matter. It's still, more, it's still money that I'm making every day. Like that, that's, some, that's something I don't think a lot of people understand. When you're talking about how much money you're making on YouTube, right? Yeah, I made $13 a day on YouTube yesterday. <laughs> cool story, bro. Nice, awesome. You know what I mean? It's like, no one's gonna really be impressed about that. Even, even though you're making money every single day, and most people aren't making anything outside of what they're already making at work. People don't realize that. This is something that it doesn't matter whether you're eating, whether you're sleeping, whether you're driving, it doesn't matter, the money is still coming and this is happening whether it's the week or the weekend, the money comes in every single day. And so when you make money seven days a week, that money adds up. And I think it's because people are kind of conditioned to think in terms of hours. So if they think of a decent number per hour is say $10 or $15 per hour, if they see that you're only making that amount per day, they're gonna be like, ah, oh, okay. And, but what they don't understand is that those numbers start to peak. Like you saw the 64, 65s, and we're about to get into some more analytics right here. Cause I, I just think numbers excite me. So if you see a spark, you know what I'm saying? That's why. So now that I've showed you how much I done made, we're about to go right on back to the overview. And we're gonna go back to the 28 days, just so you can understand even more. We're gonna break this down even more. So right now, it says $351.90. I think that changed from last time, but whatever, no big deal. So right now I'm currently at 3,943 subscribers and I'm getting 1,288 views per 48 hours. So that's a little over 600 views a day, which is, you know, that's a pretty healthy view count. That's pretty average. So at least for my channel, because at one point it had like 11,000 views, but again, that's when this one video went viral. But I just wanna show you right now, when I go to the revenue tab, of that 2250, as you can see my RPM, that's my cut by the way, it's gotten a lot more. So it was $7, now it's almost $13. So YouTube is paying me a little more than half right now. So if we go back into the overview, I'm gonna show you exactly why I'm even making the amount of money that I'm making. And it's all because of this right here. When we hit see more, we see all the videos of mine that are getting healthy view counts. Now these are, these two right here, these are videos that popped and that have just remained consistent ever since. Like they might've started their first day with like 60 views or something like that and just got like one view per day. But then out of nowhere they spike. Now they're at like 16,000 views each and they're getting 254 views. And this one's getting 254 views. Um, per every 48 hours, so a little over 100 every day. And this one's getting a little over 60 every day. You know what I'm saying? So these view counts are what keeps the money coming in because per thousand, like once this plus, once this plus this plus this, you add them all up, they hit a thousand. That RPM that I'm making, that's gonna be how much I make. So that's, that's why I'm able to make money very consistently doing this because I have fairly evergreen content that is constantly searched for, constantly looked at, and over time, it's gonna pick up. And I think of this as like a waterfall where all the water drops down from the biggest video all the way down to the, to the smallest ones. They're still getting water drops down here. I think of these blue lines as water drops. They're still getting views. And what happens a lot of times is after someone's watched one of these videos, they'll hop onto another one and then onto another one. And that's what creates a binge effect because a lot of my topics are related. And you know, if you want to learn how to get out of debt, you probably want to learn how to save money. You probably want to learn what the problems are with saving money. You probably want to learn how to make more money outside of that. So that's why my channel makes the amount of money that it makes. All right, so this is the video 
This video right here, the I eat for free, the frugal living habits video, this is the video that is responsible for the reason that I made so much money last year in just one month and seven days. So we're gonna go into 2020, just like we did for the entire analytics for last year. We're gonna go into 2020. So I made $414.61. That is insane. So out of the $919 and some change, half of that, pretty much half of that, it wasn't exactly half, but pretty much half of that came from one video. Not to mention the fact that I got 1.6 thousand subscribers from this one video. That is freaking crazy. That so, so I just told you that I was at 1,400 subscribers when I first got monetized. This video popped as soon as it popped. Subscribers, 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 all the way up to 1.6 thousand subscribers. That is wild, man. And so now when it comes to the revenue, I'm gonna put this on a custom just so you can see how much I made in one month. I know I'm taking you all over the place, but I done told you I was gonna take you on a journey now. So look, when we go to custom, I'm gonna just show you exactly how much it was in one month. So that would be November, bear with me here, November 23rd all the way on to December 23rd. And that's purely just gonna be one month of ad revenue, just to prove a point. So within one month, I made a total of $812.97, which is freaking awesome. You know, my RPM has started to go up a little bit. It went from seven to 13.10. And it just, it just did really good things. But then, you know, a week later, I went up like 105 more dollars. You see what I'm saying? So just seven days added another $100 to that. So what if every seven days you made an extra $100? That would be ridiculous. You could do so much more. There's people who wish they could get an extra $400 a month. Like if your job paid you an extra $400 a month, like what would you do? So I wanna to talk to you about my entire journey on YouTube. Like if we're gonna talk about the revenue and YouTube monetization and all that cool stuff, we're gonna talk about the whole thing. I'm not gonna leave nothing out. I'm not gonna cut nothing short. We're gonna go through this right now. Look, I'm gonna give you some perspective here. We're gonna go back to the first video that I posted in my entire YouTube career. And that's this video right here. And I was super camera shy on this video. You can even go back and watch it, but check this out. Look, we're gonna to go to the analytics as my computer takes a year to load. And we're gonna go over to, we're gonna go over to see more because I wanna show you very specific dates and times. Cause that's what analytics do, they go back to everything. So this video was posted on March 19th at 3 a.m. Apparently back when I thought posting a video at 3 a.m. was a good idea because people aren't sleeping or anything. Like I live in Pacific Standard Time. So even people on the East Coast are still sleeping. Like no one's getting up at 6 a.m. YouTube, ain't nobody doing that. I legitimately don't know what I was thinking when I decided to post videos at 3 a.m. I don't know what was wrong with me, but anyways. My point of showing you that right there is this. When we take another trip back over here to my overall analytics and we look at revenue, and then instead of custom, instead of monthly, crap, I right clicked. See, obviously I don't know how to work a computer. Now anyways, we're gonna go to lifetime. Life, you see, look at this gap. I know y'all see this gap. So this gap is a little, so never mind. This gap is a little bit, just a little bit exaggerated because I started, I, I created this account back in 2016. But as you saw, my first video ever was posted March 19th. But just imagine going from March 2019 to March 2020, no results. Hardly any views, definitely no money is coming out of this period. You know what I'm saying? And then you continue to go throughout the year and, and, and there's still nothing. But you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too discouraged because I knew that the whole time I knew good and well that I didn't have a real purpose for my channel. I was just kind of making helpful videos here and there like how to manage your time how to wake up early without any real strategy to keep the video interesting or to inject my personality within the video. I didn't even look directly at the camera like I do now. I didn't optimize my videos. I didn't do a lot of stuff that I was supposed to be doing. And I was just kind of throwing a lot of stuff at the wall, just hoping something would stick and nothing ever did. And you know something, I kept going. And then just imagine going all the way till November. November, like this is an entire year and eight months. 
But the main reason that I wanted to share all of that with you is because I'm truthfully passionate and I advocate for this so much. And no, this isn't the only side gig that I do, but this is the number one side gig that I put most of my time and energy into. And I wanna expand. I wanna tell you guys what my future goals are for this channel because I talk so much about saving money. I talk so much about how important it is to increase your income, but this year, I really wanna focus on showing you the application. Right now what I'm doing is I'm building my brand through this channel, right? And I'm expanding this channel day after day. I wanna cast a wider net. I wanna talk about more topics, more than saving money, more than increasing income. I wanna talk about debt. I wanna talk about investing. We're gonna expand that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast such a wide net and talk about so many vast topics around personal finance that my channel is gonna grow exponentially. That is what is going to happen. now. At the time of this recording, my channel is still relatively small. I'm still under 4,000 subscribers. But you know something? What I'm doing right now is I have increased my income through the platform of YouTube, which is something that I preach about all the time on a regular basis. And that 900 and something extra dollars that I made at the end of last year, I can do whatever I want with that money. And that's something that I want you to understand. Once you build another income stream, you can literally do whatever you want with that money. Now on this channel, I talk about delaying gratification, living below your means and being responsible with your money. So just think about it. If you made an extra 500 to $800 a month, what would you do with it? Would you pay off debt? Would you invest some of it? Would you throw all of it into your savings account? What would you do? Like, honestly, if you made it this far in this video, comment down below. I wanna know what you would do with this extra income. Because for some people, it is their dream to make an extra few hundred dollars per month that they could just splurge on or they could invest with or they could save or they could pay something big off. But either way, the, the point is just a few extra hundred dollars a month. That can change your life. So what we're looking at right now, within the last 28 days, I made $351.90. That's just the last 28 days. That's from December 12th to January 8th, which was yesterday because this thing is delayed by one day. And compared to the months of November, December, that's relatively low. But can you imagine? That's an extra $351. And th this month is not over yet. Like it is just getting started. We are one week into this month. And one thing I know for sure is the nature of YouTube. Things do fluctuate a lot. Things will dip and out of nowhere, they'll spike. All it's gonna take is for another one of my videos to spike again, just like that frugal living habits video that I eat for free video. And guess what? It's gonna zoop. And then it's gonna plateau again, but it's gonna plateau in a higher place than it plateaued this time, which means I'm going, the, the numbers are only gonna increase. Usually in my videos, I just tell you how much money I made in the past, but this time I'm showing you how much I'm making literally right now, you know what I'm saying? So it feels a little uncomfortable making this video, but I want it to be fully transparent and show you. But the reason I really don't like making videos like this is because I don't wanna feel like I'm bragging or like I'm being flashy. And I know some of you watching this video are like, man, that's nothing to brag about. Look, I, I know it ain't nothing to brag about bro i know but you know i'm extremely proud of myself for making this happen i persevered for so long for a year and eight months after getting no results day after day hour after hour all that time spent making videos that to this day have still not gotten any more than 49 views all that time spent on making videos over and over again, just random videos that did not coincide with personal finance or the overall message of my brand whatsoever. Knowing good and well, there was a purpose for this channel, knowing good and well that all along I should have made this channel a personal finance channel. But in the beginning, I made this channel about any and everything. I just made videos about anything willy nilly. And I was trying to talk to everybody. I was like, this channel is for everybody who wants to improve their life. And because I was trying to talk to everybody, I wasn't talking to a soul on this planet. And, and it wasn't until, I want to say October until I started to actually get views like a couple of my videos popped but even then the rest of the videos that I was putting out and they were personal finance videos at this point they they still didn't even get views like that which was very discouraging for me I even took like an entire month off of YouTube just to get my mind right because I was burning myself out between work in between YouTube and I was really putting my all into something without a strategy without a real plan and I was wondering why I wasn't getting anywhere 
I didn't mean to turn this into a YouTube learning lesson. What I really wanted to do was show you my analytics and show you my entire YouTube journey. And something that I want you to know is this. It took me forever. As you can see, it took a year and eight months for me to earn a single dollar on YouTube. And, and that's simply because in order to get monetized, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And I didn't hit 1,000 subscribers until October 21st. And after that, it took me a whole nother month. Like November 23rd was the day that I got monetized. So it took forever because of the simple fact that I wasn't at that 4,000 watch hour threshold because people weren't watching my videos for a very long time because I didn't have a strategy of the structure of my videos. You know what I'm saying? So people would watch like three minutes out of a 10, 15 minute video back in the day when I first started, whereas now you guys are watching seven to eight minutes of my video. So I'm starting to ramble. We're gonna wrap this up. If you ever really wanna do something and you've been trying for a while and you're not seeing results, you're, you're going to be discouraged. I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't get discouraged. This is a perfectly normal feeling to have. What I'm going to say is this, don't give up. You can control if you give up or not. It's hard to control if you get discouraged or not because that's your emotions and you're going to feel what you feel, but it's based off of how you react to your feelings that really changes the game, so to speak. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to grow this channel and we're gonna make more money. And I'm not just talking about me, I'm talking in general because you watching this channel right now, the whole purpose of this channel is to do smart things with your money, save your money, and make more money. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make more money and we're gonna make ourselves better this year. Let's go. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.